Hi everyone, I'm Celeste and I wanted to talk to you this week about my 30 week pregnancy. Um, I'm still moving along and um, um, I looked on what to expect and it said um, since I'm 30 weeks the baby is growing rapidly. He should be gaining about a half a pound each week from here on out and um his brain is developing and um he's just getting bigger so and they was like saying too i guess with the brain development he's getting smarter <laughs> and um so that's great and let's see as for me um i mean i'm really 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 tired like really tired um to the point it's like I don't really want to do much but um <sighs> I'm just <laughs> ready for that to surpass because I want to be able to do certain things but it's just I just feel really tired and I feel dizzy um occasionally and well I feel a lot I'm not gonna say occasionally because it's been a lot I felt really dizzy and also I'm still waiting on my maternity belt it's, it's just it seems like it's always an issue now they they want the size for the belt <laughs> it's, it's crazy I'm like I'm, I'm getting to the point where I don't think I'm gonna even get it while I'm pregnant so I don't know I'm trying to deal with the pain that I still have so it, it's it's what it is right now as far as that concern and um, let's see I'm having leg cramps but they're not as bad as they were when I was pregnant with my son my first child and I used to have like really really bad cramps or leg cramps then but here lately I don't have them it's bad and my Braxton Hicks are very very intense and they come more frequently um, I know I mentioned that in my other videos as well but they're getting very intense and um I have a doctor's appointment next week, so um, that'll be my two weeks. And then, you know, of course, from here on out, it's two weeks until 36 weeks. And let's see, what else I got going on? Um, and I'm not as much, um, like, hungry like I usually be. And I get full really fast. And I was reading, too, it says because, you know, the baby... Um, pretty much could be on your stomach so you can't eat as much and um, so I mean that's I guess that's good in a way <laughs> so I won't gain too much weight but it seems like every time I go to the doctor I'm gaining two three four or five pounds so it's whatever I'm just ready to you know have my baby and get back fit and in shape and also too like when I'm I do anything it's like I'm out of breath and I'm tired it's like sometimes my body aches too like I'm just like out of shape it's weird and I don't know like if I'm walking somewhere sometimes I have to stop and my back is hurting when I'm walking I mean it's just so much I'm just like this is weird <laughs> and um let's see I just been ha going through a lot this this third trimester, so and it all just sprung on me within like the last week or so. So I guess it's just like I said before, just preparing my body to prepare itself for um, delivery of the baby. So I can't complain too much about it. It's just something that I'm just gonna have to endure and move on. So that's that and. Let's see. <laughs> and I'm getting ready for the baby shower, so that's another thing. And I've been thinking about trying to have one like online, um, just to see if anyone out there would like to purchase anything or attend the one I'm gonna do online. Um, I'm thinking about doing that, but I I've seen um, maybe a couple of people do it like on Facebook. They have one like that, and it was pretty neat. So I was like, well, maybe I can do that like around the same time I have the one here at my house. So, you know, if anybody that couldn't make it or just want to, you know, be a part of it, they can do it that way. I thought that was real cool. 
So I've just been thinking about that. And um, I think that's pretty much it this week. I'm just trying to huh, <laughs> get some energy from somewhere to do certain things because I um, do own my own small business. Um, repairing computers and designing websites and I tutor in math and computers and um, I do social media management as well too so it's like I have clients to deal with so it's like I have to muscle up this energy <laughs> to do what I need to do because it's, it, it gets hard I'm not like it's not like I'm outside um doing construction or something like that I'm in inside and then even when I go tutor I'm tutoring at someone's house or I'm tutoring um, at the library or online or whatever so you know it's just I just have to get some energy and then um, I know I was reading too it says just listen to your body and get rest and I know one day I think Wednesday Wednesday I think I slept most of the day because I was just pooped. I mean, I was really, 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 really tired. And I noticed, too, that I do take my, my naps here and there to try to get that boost of energy so I could move on for the rest of the day. But it's just sometimes taking a nap, I get even more lazy. So I don't know. I, I just got to get it together. <laughs> um, at least, you know, just tough it out this last trimester. And then, I, cause, and then the thing about it, I'm just thinking to myself, like, how, you know, because um, I'm planning on breastfeeding, so how that's going to play a part with my sweet pattern, and then if I'm tired now, and then if I have clients, and, you know, I'm just trying to put that all in perspective and trying to figure out what I'm going to have to do next as far as, um my new baby and then I'm um, working on my master's degree too so I'm doing that and you know I mean I know it can be done don't get me wrong it can be done um, I had my son when I was in high school <laughs> and I mean I did it so I didn't skip a beat it felt like when I had him I was on summer break or it was like two more weeks of school left something to that effect so it was like I kind of was blessed in that aspect I guess <laughs> um, because most a lot of females that I saw who did have babies that young of an age as me um, they had to come back to school and see I didn't I had well I came back to school but it was like after the summer so and by that time my son was like three months or so so he was older and you know and this time it's a little bit different but everything is online and you know um and i was thinking about two um daycare but, but then i thought about i was like i don't think i want him to be in daycare for real i mean i don't know i just i never really liked the whole daycare situation i'm not knocking nobody's daycare or anything like that i just personally i never liked it i don't like other people really being around my children like that I mean I don't and then they do things that I don't approve of half of the time so it's like I'm paying you to do things that I don't like so I don't know <laughs> it's just I have a lot of decisions and things to make and I know I can you know conquer it I'm not complaining about it it's just things I think about and I'm quite sure you know it's not only me um, when you become a new mother it's just you just trying to figure out how to fit in everything within the schedule and then who knows I may be the mom who can just take the baby on the job with me but I don't know <laughs> I'm just saying but most of my work too is at home so that's a blessing and that's a wonderful thing for me because that's something that I always wanted to do even when I was working uh, my first job when I was 15, I think, at Crystal's. I hated it. I hated leaving the house. I hated leaving my children. And then when I joined the Army, I hated that, leaving them. And so I don't like that. So, yeah, I just rather um, or be at the office and have, be able to bring my children with me so they can see what I'm doing. So they have something for the future. And that's how I think. I don't 
I just don't like leaving them around and leaving them home and having them not knowing what I'm doing and you know I don't know it's just things I think about but I'm not gonna hold you all longer I'm gonna show you um, a shot of my belly this week um, and here you are okay here's the front as you can see my little navel it's kind of it want to poke it want to poke out a little bit but it's not all the way there yet <laughs> and here's the side and sometimes I can like when I mess up my stomach it'll act, it'll seem like it want to come out but it, it doesn't come out I just like to play around with it <laughs> and here's the other side yeah and it's so funny <laughs> I, I'm like I'm laughing at people because um, I'm still telling people that I'm pregnant. It's so funny. They say they don't even, they didn't even notice it. And then I was thinking, I said, do they really think my belly just get big? <laughs> they think I'm getting fat, but oh, that's fine. Because I know a lot of them say, you carry the baby so well. I was like, well, thank you. Hmm. Then it makes me think later, like, do they think I'm getting fat? Hmm. But I don't know. Maybe it's because sometimes what I wear, you just can't really tell if if she's pregnant or she got a little belly. She just got a little fat. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just funny to me. I like to hear people's thoughts about that. So um, I'll be back next week and I give you an update on my doctor's visit as well. Um, so you guys have a wonderful day evening night also subscribe to my channel um and if like i said before if you want to talk with me i leave mostly all of my content information below and if you need something else i'll be glad to share that with you too and um yeah have a wonderful day goodbye and thanks for watching <laughs>